a new day is here already. And we gotta go to work on this guitar, and I mean go to work on it quick. I guess the first thing we're gonna do is patch that brace up inside, glue it back together. I showed it to you before, but I'll show it to you again in this video in case you forgot. It's way back in there, man, and it's a wee tiny little hole. My, I don't have very big hands, but, uh, you know, it's going to be tough reaching back in there, getting glue on that thing. And uh, I've got a prop here. I made a whole bunch of these one time. Y'all, some of you old subscribers probably seen them before, some of them. You just set... Uh, Set this end down on the brace that you want to glue, and then I kind of round it off up here, and you can prop it up against the brace on the top, or the other side if you're gluing braces on the top. We're gluing braces on the back today, but anyway, that's just like a like a uh, prop, you know, and it smashes that brace together. You should get plenty of squeeze out. Getting glue on the thing's going to be a trip too. I'm not sure yet exactly how I'm going to get glue on it. I took it up, took the guitar up to shop, blew it all out, brought it back, took a vacuum and sucked it all out. Well, first I went in there with a piece of sandpaper and I roughed that um, that broken brace up, uh, you know, a little bit. It's a clean break. I didn't want to mess with it much. So, but anyway, I roughed it up, made sure it was clean. So we get bare wood to bare wood, and uh, I'm going to figure out a way to get glue in there, and like I say, use this to. Uh, clamp it so to speak hold it in place till the glue sets up so I don't know how much of this you're going to be able to see because like I said it's a wee little hole it's going to be tight getting back in there and barely get my fist in it but uh, I don't know how much I'll be able to show you of this and I don't want to bore you to death with me sitting here fist fucking this guitar uh, anyways I don't want to bore you to death uh, you know with me sitting here with my arm up its ass or whatever. Anyways, I'm a rambling. Let's get to it. Hold on. <laughs> so what we're going to do, I'm not going to be able to show you this because it's so, you know, I'm going to be turning the guitar around here so I can reach it better. I'm going to scoop some glue up with this knife and just get glue on it and run it back inside of here. I can feel in between that uh, crack and I'm going to get glue all along there where it's separated and then I'm going to take probably a couple of these uh, things wedges that I made and stick in there and brace it up you know to squeeze the, the brace together but you're not going to be able to see any of this so there's no point in me boring you to death with it with trying to get it in there and glued and propped so I'll bring you back and show you uh, after I get it hold on hold on Here's what I was talking about with this bridge. Uh, just, that, if that's factory, that's very poor, man. It doesn't look like it's the right size bridge. I mean, the bridge looks smaller than the footprint. And uh, not a very good glue job. And it's coming off. This end of the bridge here, there, that corner... I can stick paper under that. Not very bad, but bad enough. And to fix that, you would have to take the bridge completely off of it and clean it all up and stuff and re-glue it, clamp the whole thing back on there. And I'm not going to get into that because I don't have time for one thing. The owner wants it done by Saturday. And uh, he said let it go. But we may see this guitar again too because of that. Now, if I can show you, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but we have got good squeeze out. There's a couple of, I've got two props in there on it, but I can't show it to you. But, uh, I wiped the squeeze out away once. I need to get in there and get the rest of it. Anyways, that's it, folks. There she is, glued up, out of focus. Camera always fails when you need it the most. Okay, there's your shot, I think. I got two props in there on it. Got it uh, clamped pretty secure. We just let that set for 24 hours now. 
come back and we'll decide what we're going to do about that bridge. I'm going to have to remove material from this part of the bridge. This whole top of it, okay? And I'm not going to be able to take very, I'm not going to be able to take enough of it off to fix that. It's got a straight edge laying on the fretboard. I'm not going to be able to take enough of it to fix that, but I can take enough of it off as thick as that bridge is right there. I can take enough of it down to make the guitar play easier. The way it is right now, the saddle is almost, uh, see it's almost flat. We need more saddle to stick up out of there. That's not very much saddle at all. So by sanding this away, shaving that bridge down, will expose more of the saddle, okay? And uh, should make it play a little bit easier. Like I say, I'm not going to be able to remove enough bridge to fix the problem of the fretboard plane and the bridge plane not matching, but at least I can make it play a little bit easier. We can't do anything else for 24 hours, okay, while that glue sets up. So I figured might as well make use of the time and polish these frets while we wait. I showed you guys this stuff before. It's uh, called semi-chrome polish. It's just a lightly abrasive compound or chrome. But it, man, you can do so many things. But I'm going to have to do a video on just this stuff sometime. You would be amazed at some of the things you can use this stuff on that it's not even made to use on. Check that out. You would be amazed, I think, if you knew some of the stuff that you can use this stuff for that it's not even designed to be used for. And it works so well. I mean, just uh, not just polishing frets, but a lot of stuff. I won't go into a lot of detail here, but... Maybe I will make a video of that sometime and show you. Check that out. I don't know if you can see that on camera. That's from having my arm back in that hole. Rubbing again the hole. Man, I bruise easier than shit anymore. My arms is the only thing that does that. Thin blood, maybe, I don't know. I always keep my arms beat to hell, though. Yeah, you know, like saying, just touch something with them and they bruise. Didn't used to be that way. Five years ago, it wasn't like that. Good stuff. Semi-chrome polish made by Happich. I'll show you the box there in a minute. Neverdoll is a good product too, but uh, I just like this stuff better because, like I say, you can use it for. Things you would never ever believe in a million years that it would work on. And it really works well on those things that you're not supposed to use it on. <laughs> I would definitely have to do a video of that sometime. <clears throat> Show you what I'm talking about. It's uh, pretty amazing stuff. Here's the... Uh, there's the box. Semi-chrome polish, Happage. I've had that for 30 years. I've had this same tube. I used to polish banjos with it. And uh, I've had it for over 30 years. It's still good. And I didn't know if you could even still get it. And I showed it on here a while back, and one of the viewers pointed out their website. You can still buy the stuff. Still purchase it. I guess it's the same formula that it was back then. I don't know why they would change anything that worked as well as this does. Check this out. There's a clean spot on the rag. See what I mean? Amazing stuff. But yeah, uh, someone was asking me about uh, Neverdoll. Never always very good. Maybe better than this. I don't know. I just like this better. Because like I say, you can use it in applications that are not even, it's not even designed for. See that? 
put some linseed oil on this board in a minute too. It's, it looks like it's very dry. Very much dry. And there you have it. Clean frets. Hold on, I'll find some linseed oil. oil and we'll give it a grease job. Someone was asking me about boiled linseed or not boiled. Well, this is boiled. Boiled linseed oil. It doesn't matter. You can use boiled or not boiled. It really makes no difference at all. One will work just as well as the other. Rub it on. I like to leave it about, uh, I don't know, five minutes or so. And rub it off. I like linseed better than anything else because it solidifies. It gets down into those open grains and it solidifies and it protects the wood. Oh, there's a big chip knocked out of the missing from the board right there. Didn't see that before. Right there, I doubt the camera's picking it up. You take some rosewood dust, dump it in that hole, drop one drop of uh, cyanoacrylate cyan glue, C8 super glue, one drop, let that cure, sand it away, and you would never ever know that there's a hole there. You'd never be able to tell it. You remember when we were looking in this guitar and we were looking down in the hole and back down in this area. I could see what looked like spilt glue and it looked like uh, cyanoacrylate glue. Well, upon further inspection, I don't know how well I can hold the camera still. I got some powerful lenses now. Thanks to you guys who clicked that support button. Thank you. Uh, they've been a lot of work done around this binding right here. There's a lot of glue. See that? A lot of uh, patchwork right there. I don't know what happened. If you look down here, the guitar's taking a hit right there. It looks like. Uh, you probably can't see it, but there's been some action right here. Wasn't told to fix any of that or do anything to it, even though that's not going to hold very long. If you look at the binding here, see what I'm talking about? Wasn't told to fix that or do anything to it. And uh, check the uh, truss rod, it works, but man, look at that. Someone's really been, really been, uh, hanging on that thing man wood chipped out on both sides of it extra screw holes and it's all chipped up here they've really been you could even tell in the metal there marred up marred up big time but it works so uh, you know as long as it works here's you a shot of the that's all the guitar has on it. The serial number. No model numbers or anything. I don't think these guitars are worth a whole lot, but like I say, I'm probably making more on this guitar than it's worth. You can see all that work around there that's been done. That's just about going to do us, folks, for the next uh, 24 hours or so. I don't want to do anything else until that glue sets up. And then we will uh, shave the bridge and start stringing this puppy up tomorrow, I guess. And uh, the glue should be dry by Saturday. It's going to have to be because he's picking it up Saturday and headed back across the country with it. I was going to say, uh, I, uh, you old subscribers know about this. The new ones probably don't. Had a kid bring a guitar here one time. Had a big nick in the uh, finish. Well, I steamed it out, or drop filled it, I don't remember. I think I did a drop fill on it, fixed it, and sanded it. 
we clear up to uh, 2,000 grit and then the mi micro mesh paper and just really you couldn't tell there was ever a nick there and I wasn't even going to charge the guy for it you know I just thought it was making his guitar look better well when he come and picked the guitar up I said I fixed that nick and man, he started looking at the guitar and literally started to cry tears started coming out of his eyes he said uh, my grandfather did that and uh, you know it was a thing that he valued that he valued the nick he wanted it left alone and i fixed it and you know, i told him i said well i wasn't going to charge you man i'm sorry you know but since then i don't fix everything i see wrong with the guitar i fix what the customer tells me you know if i see something else i'll tell them or ask them about it but i don't just jump into it and fix it what's the matter q what's the matter baby or y'all might need a cue ball fix, so I'll see you in 24 hours. Tell uh, the YouTube uh, family how much you love them. Say, I love you. I love you. <coughs> what? <coughs> I love you. <coughs> Tell them, I love you. <coughs> I love you. <coughs> it's going to get crazy. Woo. <coughs> Good. 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 Good.